Right, Pinty. I'm going to do you a quick tutorial. I'm going to start a new class. So this is your. There's only three. There's only one character in the game that you can do three different sets, and there's three different magic sets. So first, use your magic. Now, whether you want to go for a hard hitting brawler, whether you want to go for deception, um, or you want to go for sort of healings more style. So I don't know that one. I don't know that one. I've only started this one. I've only got to prayer first, but I know what rage does. So anyway, I'm going to go with that one. And then there's essentially got one character, but three different setups. Um, and then there's Warrior, there's Rogue, and then there's the Cleric. Warrior's slow, but very, very powerful and massive, massive um, armor. And there's the fast, but lightweight and low armor um, Rogue. And there's the middle guy, Cleric, which is medium armor, armor. Uh, reasonably heavy attacks relatively slow but not obviously not as slow as him but not as fast as him so I'm going to do this one because I've done it all so far so, so you've got your attribute points there strength, vitality, faith, endurance, agility and luck etc etc and then you've got your health potion ghost mer merge shard now ghost merge shard is basically a reset to save your lost XP but I'll show you that in a minute now I'm going to skip the um, so these are actually quite good these hints so I'll do them flick through them as you watch them um, yeah anyway so yeah read a couple of those I'm gonna skip the uh, the cutscene because it just goes on a bit it's quite good but just skip it the monastery you can watch it I won so skip this and you start off when you first start off is a mini tutorial against a real baddie but don't press circle out of the tutorial because it's it's useful to do. And um, and then we'll just I'll show you the basic moves and then I'll um, save it and send it off to you. Bit of a load. I reckon it looks better than Dark Souls 3. It looks sweet. Okay, this bit. So don't press circle. So fighting a rogar is quite a chance. So the, all the baddies are rogars. So the base is to approach them all. Just, just approach him. He won't attack you. It will do it in slow motion. Press R3, wait for it, press R1, and just follow it through. And then fast hit, whack, press again, and then again. Oh, it's okay, I didn't get my third one. Quick roll, and then R2, and then R2 again. There you go, done. So those are actually relatively hard to beat, but that shows you how easy they can be. Um, and yes, yeah, so you've got your health bar, which is red, the energy bar, which is orange, and your blue bar, which is um, magic, and they can all be leveled up. So, see, so you've got two health potions on the left. Um, again, they will only uh, refill um, if you go to a checkpoint, but there are some later points in the game when you can fill them slowly during the game. Anyway, to so start off, um, anyway, I'll, I know I'll let you explore, I won't show you anything. Um, so basically I'm going to show you a quick little bit, so quick little bit of movement. I'll let you do, I won't show you any any teasers, any any sort of, what's the word, spoilers. So as you stood there, L1 is basic block, um, R1 is basic fight, and you'll notice that your orange bar goes down momentarily, see that because it takes out of energy, um, and L, sorry, R2 is heavy attack, fairly slow, but it's pretty powerful, and the longer you hold it down for it gives more um, power and then L2 is that parry thing so which can be really effective apparently because if you get it time it right it stuns them stuns your opponent and then you can go in with a, a brutal attack but I have yet to get it because the timing so so hard um, don't um, yeah and then if you press so if you press circle, oh you can't change, you can't change, oh yeah sorry not circle, ignore circle, it is square, that's it, just tap square and it will switch between your, your health potion or your ghost merge shard, don't worry about the ghost merge shard at the moment, but to actually drink your health you 
to press and hold square, which I think is better than Dark Souls, because that one you just accidentally pressed it and you drank it and you didn't mean to, so it's better that you can you can just um, you have to hold it. Uh, right. So the thing I was going to show you is, so if you press triangle, you put your shield away, and later on when you get this magic gun thing, you just cycle between the three of them. But basically, one handed, two handed, one handed, two handed, and there's, and there's some weapons that can only be used two handed, um, and some weapons that if you hold it one handed, you only got one, but if you press that, you've actually got two, so like two little daggers or two little swords. And again, that depends what sort of weapons you want to choose and what you, which ones you want to use. Um, so I've been using the two-handed because it's pretty cool because you get this massive sword later. Um, but you can always resort back to using your shield. Um, okay, so I thought let's find a baddie. There's one in here. Oh, one thing I'll quickly say. So there's a baddie. He won't come out because he's, he's deaf. So one thing I'll quickly say is smash everything. Now you can smash it with these attacks um, because the many, many barrels and these chests they hide stuff in them um, like a shard and the shards are basic collectibles. Basically if you if you press get rid of your shield, put your shield on your back and then press L2. Obviously you've not you've not got shield in your hand so you can't parry, but you can do a kick. So that's pretty useful. Especially if you're close just to um, an enemy you can kick them and it pushes them back a little bit before you can do a swipe. But generally I don't do it for that reason. I do it just to smash it. Um, oh and the other thing I can say let's let's get off here. So remember R3, when you've got an enemy, always press R3 and that'll focus on it. See that? Clicks on and off, clicks on and off. So always press that one fighting noise because you can just for any attack you press it will definitely go towards that one. So one thing I'll quickly show you, so well that's an X. If you press X and a direction, or no, no sorry, X and forwards, you'll run. You see your orange energy bar goes down, and obviously regenerates. But if you press X and a direction, as in uh oh no, so if you tap, that's it. If you tap X and a direction you'll roll. But you'll use up quite a lot of stamina, a lot of, sorry, quite a lot of energy to do that. That's quite good for dodging out of the way of big guys. The only trouble with it is, especially with this build, because it's all heavy armour, you don't get up very quickly, so it's not great at dodging things. But anyway, that's another thing. So the other thing is, my point is, is when you run and then press R2, it does a wicked sort of hacking one. So I'm going to get rid of my shield for a minute. Let's go on this guy. Run and smack. smack. And you see the numbers there show you how effective the uh, uh, attack is and how much damage it causes. So you'll see lots of these. Oh no, can I? Oh no, maybe not. Anyway, ignore that. <coughs> so, smash everything. Uh, and you realise what you can smash and not. And obviously, be careful. So, get your shield out in these points and hold it up. If you're unsure where the is, Hold your shield up, and that will just block things. Now there should be a guy around here. Now these guys are are deaf. So oh yeah, so let's follow this. Let's follow this um, tutorial on the top right. So press and hold R2. Smack. So it's more powerful than out of the way. So I put my shield up then. That defended it. Oh shit! And that didn't defend it. So he knows I'm there. But so if I do a quick tap of R2. Sorry. Quick tap. That was that that, that heavy attack was 40. So that me. Let's just do a quick one. So a quick tap. So only 30. So if you press and hold your um, R2 down at the moment, it's called 40. But if you um, just do a quick tap of R, um, R2, it does 30. And that's not bad, but when you get big weapons like this, looking, you get some amazing kit. Anyway, the one other thing I forgot to say, press your touchpad and this is your inventory screen. You press L1, R1, R1 cycle between these things. Stick on the inventory for the moment, put your wheel there, this is all you've got. All you've, got. you've got your weapons, you've got your shield, you've got your gauntlet, so we haven't got that yet, we'll get that later. Um, that's your basically your magic gun, basically. Um, then you've got your, all your um, armour, um, and then you've got these 
rings that you can trinkets, and when you get those, they do special stuff. And then you have quest arms, which are keys and all that sort of shit. Uh, runes, stuff you can collect, and they can add stuff to things. And then you get health potions. So health potion is obviously that, and then you go to merge shard. Basically, if you die, um, just like Dark Souls, you can go and collect your your souls you, you've lost. This you can collect your XP that you've lost, but it it ticks down after a few minutes. Um, and you can potentially lose it all, so uh, this presses that you will re re regain it instead of having to go and find it. That's your character development, so that's obviously where you spend your points, um, and that's your lore. So one of the other things I'll quickly show you, um, there's two down here, um, let's just quickly whack him, do a bit of dodging, oh shit, oh see that's trouble. There's two of them, split between the two. Okay, what I want to do is do a backstab. So, try and get behind it. And then you press R1 without pressing anything else. There you go, backstab. They're really useful, but you can't be pressing anything else. You've got to press just be right behind them, right behind them, and then press R1 and nothing else. If you're too close, though, you'll kill them. This is a really annoying. One. Oh yeah, so that's a shard. So that you just get those these different sorts of ones. So that's why hack, 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 hack. hack. Anyway, there you go. Enjoy, and I'll um, play with you tomorrow.